Trading card games are difficult to get into. Many lack a proper jumping off point for new players, and navigating the bombardment of products released every year can be a headache. Yu-Gi-Oh! deviates from this by giving us the structure deck. It is a pre-made, semi-competitive deck that will teach you the game and give you some direction to your journey as a duelist. Most enfranchised duelists will buy or trade for individual cards to complete their decks. However, in a sealed only challenge, we go back to when we were kids. Cracking packs and sealed products to put together a smorgasbord of cardboard that we call a deck. For my challenge, I've chosen Blue Eyes as my deck. Not because it's good, fun, or because it will be easy, but because I want to use the nostalgia bait to get clicks from Yugi Boomers and end up on a CBR top 10 list. Now let me lay down the rules for this challenge. No buying individual cards. Only official sealed product. $25 per week. One $4 pack per win, or one $10 pack per two wins, that is if I remember to buy my victory packs or if Target ends up stocking its, its packs. If the chase for one single card goes longer than four episodes and is required for my deck to function, I can purchase it, but the next week's budget is cut in half. The reason why I'm only doing $25 per week instead of the industry standard of $40 is because I have rent to pay, and sadly the government would not like it if I tried to list Yu-Gi-Oh cards as a business expense. Now I hope you're ready for an experience that is like a car crash. Not pleasant, but you can't look away from it. It's me, Nicholas, back again for the 10th week of Sealed Only Blue Eyes. Pretty exciting, I didn't think I'd make it to double digits, I thought I would get bored halfway through and just give up. But what would you look at that? We are 10 weeks in, and as of recording this on 3-30-2021 at 12-16pm, I have 98 subscribers, which is hype, hopefully by either the end of this week or by the time this video comes up, I will have 100, so that's kinda awesome. But anyway, enough about me bragging, let's get into what we're pulling today. So, as I mentioned either last episode or two episodes ago, I invoked the cheating clause, and this is what we have to show for it. We have a blue eyes alternative white dragon. Look at it. Hooray, we finally got one. Now I can finally have a reason to go for um, Melody of Awakening Dragon, and so hopefully make the deck a little bit more consistent having a free special summon and all. So that'll be going in. And then for this week, our one product is going to be a single Shadal Showdown Structure Deck because these things are like 26 27 bucks a pop, so yeah, I can't justify opening much more than this, which is why I included the uh, Cheaty Boy in this uh, video. So I'm going to cut away real quick, let pop this open, and we'll be right back. Alright, and we're back, and a couple things to comment on. First off, the foils are curled to hell. These are starting to look like magic cards. <laughs> like, look at these Pringles right here. Ew. But another thing is... Oh. Well, sorry, ignore that my Logie cash was being mad at me. I didn't realize this came with a beginner's guide. That's kind of cool. I, uh, yeah, I thought that, I guess this must be one of the last ones that they threw them in for. Then, of course, we got the playmat, which I'll attempt to show on screen, but who knows. Yeah. Look at that. Ain't, ain't that, ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? I'd love to get this as, like, an actual, oh, knocked over my background. Whoops, now you can see my work laptop. And you see the uh, magic uh, bundle that I've been using to hold my uh, backdrop up with. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'd love to get that as like an actual real life playmat, not just like a crappy piece of paper. But you know, we will see. But yeah, I'm sure you guys have seen the Shadal Showdown structure deck like a million times before. And if you want to see someone do sealed only Shadal, you should check out TCG Wolf. He's almost done with his actually, and he's got a pretty strong deck. So we're just going to go through the list and just point out the cards that I can use. Some of them. I just, I just can't make use of because of the route I'm going. Specifically, also let's get rid of this dueling sad. Woo. Specifically, cannot use El Shadal Grista, the cover card, because it requires a fire monster. I'm not playing fire monsters. Um, could potentially make use of Ab Cologne, it's a maybe. Construct is for sure going in because we're playing all light monsters. Um, we're not going to use Kaios, I don't think. I don't think we're going to use 1D or Ariel either. Uh, they're definitely going in the maybe pile. I'm going to have to like, sort through this stuff. Um, oops, dropped some stuff. Incantation is another maybe. Shekinaga we cannot make. Window we can make and we will be using. Shell Fusion is for sure going in. Uh, let's see, not Falco I don't think, but definitely a Hedgehog. Maybe Squamata and Dragon. For sure Beast is going in, not Hound, not Zephyr Naga, not Zephyr Core. I would love to use BLS. Maybe if I decide to go a Shadal chaos -y route I could throw BLS in, but eh. Lava Golem is going in the side deck because we got a Kaiju. 
As much as I would love to play Dark Arm Dragon, I can't. Uh, Fairy Tale Sleeper, I don't think we're gonna be using this one. Trick Clown could be something. Um, maybe. We'll see. Uh, Armonite, probably not gonna use this. Maybe, probably not. Not gonna use Phallus. Not gonna use Electromagnetic Turtle or Math Magician, nor Curry Bandit. Nope. Uh, let's just get to the stuff we are gonna use. Probably gonna use El Shadal Fusion. Not gonna use Nef Shell Fusion. Super Poly, Poly can probably go on the sideboard. We might be able to use some of the, um, uh, the uh, new Shell Fusions as um, Super Poly targets. Instant Fusion is a maybe. I don't think, as good as Allure is, I don't think we're gonna use it because we only have the one. And we just don't, we just won't be running enough Dark Monsters to make it worth it. And we have so much draw power with the Blue Eyes engine anyways. Foolish is for sure going in. I don't think we're gonna use Living Fossil. We're not gonna use Pot. We already have the Triple Twin Twisters. I don't think we can use Core, Genestra Shadow Games. Lost Wind will probably go in because that's a really good card. And what else? Uh, hmm. Probably not gonna use the rest of these. Uh, maybe we'll use Construct. Maybe we'll use Construct, we'll, or El Shadal Construct, we'll see, because we don't really have any Link Monsters. But yeah, so again, just to go over what we are for sure using, Lost Winch, Foolish, El Shadal Fusion, Lava Golem, Beast, Hedgehog, Winda, Shadal Fusion, and Construct. If you have any other suggestions for engine pieces I can throw in, let me know. Um, I just, yeah, I think this will be bringing a good, like bit of power to the blue eyes deck and throwing a couple dark monsters will also enable our um uh what's he called uh our chaos dragon Levianer guy that'll make him a little more viable to the point where i could even throw in the second one we'll have to see but yeah i'll hit you guys with the deck profile in a second and we're gonna have a good week this week man week 10 kind of wild that we got all the way here i was not expecting double digits well, you all know the drill by now. We finally hit triple digit subscribers. Poggers, my doggers. I would love it if those of you who aren't in those triple digits start subscribing. We're on the road to 200k now. Hopefully we can hit it fast and we hit 100... 200k what I'm talking about. We're on the road to 200 subscribers. Hopefully we can hit it faster than 100 subscribers. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, make me, make me the next Papa Revs and maybe then I'll start actually like editing my videos. Yeah, you get it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and how I hope you enjoy the deck profile. All right, this is the amalgamation that I came up with, and now that I'm kind of looking at this, it seems very, very sus. Why I decided to go 45 cards? Because it's not worth cutting stuff to put in one of. And also, my 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 uh, thought process is, hey, what if we upped the card count so I stopped drawing blue eyes? But at the same time, that'll also mean I'm not drawing the one ofs. So again, this seems sus. It would be better if I had ended up buying three structure decks. However, since they're like 25 a piece right now, can't really justify that cost, can I? But yeah, so here are the changes. We added in the Squamata, which when it's sent to the graveyard, I dump a Shadal from my deck to the graveyard. Uh, Wendy, when it's sent to the graveyard, I special Shadal from my deck. Hedgehog, it's a Rota. Uh, Shadal Fusion, it's a fusion spell, and then if my opponent controls an extra deck monster, I get to summon from fusion summon from the deck. Uh, El Shadal Fusion, it's another fusion spell, and it is a quick effect. So that's like the basis of the Shadal core here, it's three monsters and the fusion spells. Since everything on my deck is light or dark, it'll work with the uh, Shadal monsters that I added. But again, this is incredibly sus. All right, on the extra deck, so we went down to two Twin Bursts. Why two Twin Bursts? Card's not that great. It's not that great. I'm gonna be honest. It's a cool form of removal for anything that's a big bungus, but I shouldn't be going into it. I need to start like lessening it, so I stop going into it. The other one, Construct. Construct's amazing. If it's special summon, I can send a Shadal from my deck to the graveyard. And then if this card battles a special summon monster, I destroy that monster. And finally, if this is sent to the graveyard by any means, this is, by any means, I can target which Shadal spell trap my graveyard add to my hand, so this is how you recycle your Shadal fusions, as well as dumping your Shadals to get their effects. Uh, Apcalone, so this one just requires two different Shadal monsters with different different attributes, so that's why we got the Wendy in there. Apcalone um, cannot be destroyed by battle, and I can use one of its effects per turn. If it's special summoned, I can target one face-up card on the field and negate its effects, or if this card's into the graveyard, I can add one Shadal card from my deck to, 
from my deck or graveyard to my hand, then discard a card. Pretty good, pretty self-explanatory. And finally, Winda. Winda, everyone knows Winda. One shoot all plus one dark monster. Must first be fusion summon, cannot be destroyed by an opponent's card effects. Each player can only special summon monsters once per turn while his card is face up on the field. And then if this card is in the graveyard, I can target one shoot all spell trap in my graveyard add to my hand. Winda just outs a lot of decks. If you just summon a Winda, a lot of decks just can't deal with it and have to scoop. And then of course, we are on our triple Azure Eyes, our double spirit, our one black rose dragon for luck. For luck. Our double of Prime Photon Dragon. And I add the Shadal construct to the deck. So it's two flip monsters. During my main phase, I can fusion summon one Shadal fusion monster from my extra deck using monsters from my hand or field fusion material. Then if this card is in my graveyard, I can send one Shadal card from my hand or face up on the field to the graveyard. And if I do special summon this card, I can use, only use one Vector turn. Third in there, because why not add the extra deck space? And then finally, the All Star OG best lad to ever exist, Link Karibo. Love him. Love him, love him, love him. Mad respect. Save my butt too many times to count. This card's just so good. Then side deck, only change that I took out Phantasm and replaced it with Lava Golem. Since my hand traps are only one ofs, they're not that great, especially Phantasme, because he's kind he only really comes up if you're against like Dragon Link. And at least in, for my purposes, I've gone up against a ton of Dragon Link, whereas a um a kaiju like Lava Golem will do a lot more for me. It'll be a very good spot removal and hey, burn damage. But yeah, these are the, that's the deck, that's the changes. Hopefully this does something. Again, it's sus, but it's kind of something I just wanted to try out. Um, it would be a lot better if I was doing a Shadal deck with a Blue Eyes engine rather than a, a Blue Eyes deck with a Shadal engine, especially one with so many one ofs. This definitely has potential and I can see it, but we'll see if I can draw the potential now or if I'll need to buy two more structure decks to fully make this something good. And before you ask, no, I am not going to hunt for Schism. Rise of the Duelist is way too expensive and I have other stuff I need to go for, rather than an ultra rare from a $10 pack set. Alright, I'll see you guys in the games. Game 1 is going to be against um, the disgusting sub tier deck, and unfortunately the shit all cards are already bricking me. So all I'm, really, all I'm really able to do is go into a Maiden and a Blue Eyes and pass. They're going to Extravagance because they don't really care about their extra deck. And they're going to start doing their sub terra stuff. And I just got to say, who finds this fun? Really? You find the Monkey Flip decks fun? No one finds this fun. It's not fun to play against. It's not fun to play with. You just want your fake imaginary internet points. And I don't respect you for playing a deck like this. I'm sorry. You, you are the reason why Kazuki Takahashi did not intend Yu-Gi-Oh to exist. That doesn't make sense, I'm sorry, I'm tired. But anyway, yeah, so they're just going to go through their uh, control stuff. Hidden City flipping up and down their uh, Guru to add more um, sub to their hand. They're going to dig with their uh, uh, duality. They're going to hit me with their sub card they don't... Nope, and it, uh, uh, blah, 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 oh, the monkey, the monkey is affecting me. All it takes is watching it for it to affect me, and yeah, so, I surrender. Alright, and as you can see, I bricked again with the Shadows. I'm starting to rethink my idea. Like I said, I think, this is a fun experiment, but I need more Shadows. And as you see, I got Evenly and Cosmic Cyclone, so... This isn't going great. I'm going to Twin Twisters the back row. Love that I brought this card in. I'm going to set a Protector because they can't really get over a 1300 body. They set a There Can Be Only One. Pass back to me. Normal Summon My Sage activates effect to search out a uh, Whitestone of Ancients. They flip up There Only Can Be One. I go into my Link Rebo and I try to hit their body but to no avail. Their turn they draw into the one that can beat up uh, Set monsters, they hit my Link Karibo, they hit me for 1600, past me, draw for turn. I draw Shadal Fusion, which is currently useless right now. I go into Link Karibo, activate the effect of White Stone and Graveyard, go into Dragon Spirit of White to pop their uh, back row. They activate Fiendus to negate my effect and flip down the sub terror. Monkey Flip deck, man, Monkey Flip. I think that's Fiendus. Is that Fiendus? That's Fiendus, yeah. So anyway, they attack me, they take 2500, they activate its effect in Graveyard to bring out Guru. Oh boy, Guru! Everyone love a good Guru, he's so good! And now I'm just kind of stuck because I can't really do anything with the Zero can be only one. I'm either running Dragons or Spellcasters at this point, even with the Shadals, they're all Spellcasters. 
Their turn, they draw into the duality. They activate their guru to get their uh, subterra final battle, I think that is. They duality, get a trap trick off this, I believe. Yep. Then they bring up the Fiendus, they are going to set two, pass to me, draw a phase, I'm going to get my Levine here, can't summon it because there can be only one. I attack, they flip down my monster, end phase, oh, just so fun, such interactive Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, I love this, I'm glad that I am able to own three copies of Lightning Storm to out this back row. I'm so glad I pulled a Harpy's Feather Duster to out this back row, woo. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I'm monkey flips, but... At the end of the day, I can't really excuse the fact that my poor deck building all slapped me to this. And yeah, we're gonna draw into the egg, we're gonna go into Levioneer, and we are going to give up because I am a failure. Alright, match two, and we are against Zombies. Now, Zombies is a based deck. I love Zombies so much. Baller Drugs, just such a cool card. Zombie World, making everything Zombies is just so rad. They're gonna end on a board of Zombie World, um, Vampire Sucker, and Baller Drug. Oh, it's just so cool. They draw a card off of the effect. I'm going to dump my Wendy, activate her effects, gonna get ashed. So then I'm going to normal summon Maiden, activate Sage with eyes of blue. Balardrock's gonna happen. He's going to negate my Maiden, but I'm still gonna get blue eyes out off of uh, um, Sage's effect. I'm gonna try and pop the Zombie World, tag into a blue eyes after he tries to Balardrock my uh, uh, white dragon, but then he uh, Balardrocks the blue eyes instead. But I got rid of the Zombie World, and that's important. Call the Haunted, bring back Maiden, force him to attack the Maiden to activate her effect. He ashes it again, unfortunately he had the double ash. Alright, he's going to attack me until I am down to 1900 life points. He's going to go into the um, Link Monster for Avendred, which is kind of cool, you don't see that very often. He's going to activate his pod, draw two cards, set one pass. I'm going to normal summon my White Stone, go to Link Karibos, set my uh, Judgment, effect activate, bring it on Blue Eyes. Go to his turn, he's going to draw, he's going to activate his Vampire Sucker to special summon out my dragon, activate its effect to pop his back row, which turns out to be a conk, I'm going to Judgment the conk, may or may not have been a good idea. Uh, he's going to Elixir, he's going to bring out his Golden Lord, he's going to activate his Jackal Bolon and special summon it, that's going to be my turn, I'm going to... Uh, he's going to Jackal Bolon, bring out the um, Ballard Rock, then he's going to get a draw. I'm going to attack into some of his cards, he's going to take 900, pass back to him, he's going to activate his uh, Conk, he's going to set a Sanguine, draw phase, he's going to get Ash to hand, he's going to activate his Curse Outland, activate his Sanguine, get out the uh, Necroller Banshee, activate the uh, uh, Elixir and Grave, he's going to go into the uh, Sucker, he's going to bring out another Zombie World, Sacrum Link Karibo, activate its effect, puts the Sucker to zero, my turn, draw phase, I got the Chalice, he's going to activate Conk, and just look at all those chain links. The zombies is just such a cool control deck. Oh, I want to play zombies. I wish I could have done sealed only zombies. Just look at this. Oh, it's so cool. You got big chunguses, you got negates, you got interactions. Just such a fun, fun deck. Like, you're not preventing. And he, finally, he goes into the uh, Zeroboros. He brings out the Frau line. Again, a very cool card. Attacking the Zeroboros to, and uh, beats me. Game two, and I'm going first. We are going to activate the Dragon Shrine. We're going to send the egg. We're going to Cosmo Brine. Uh, play another egg, activate Cosmo Brian, special summon of blue eyes. Eggs and activate, give me blue eyes to hand. And we're going on two level eights, not bad, not bad. Uh, off to history, he's going to jack a bull on, send the uh, Banshee, he's going to put out a zombie world, follow jack a bull on, go into the vampire sucker, activate the effect of the uh, bloom and grave to bring out a ballard drop. He's going to activate uh, sucker to special summon of uh, blue eyes to my field since the zombie is able to banish my other blue eyes. My turn, I'm going to attack into a Sucker, which he's going to su or a Sanguine, Special Summon a Golden Lord, uh, fight Sucker again, fight the Ballard Rock, his turn, activate the uh, um, Brian to bring out the um, Dragon Spirit of White to pop his Necro uh, Zombie World, which unfortunately he just draws right into. He's going to activate Sanguine and Grave to set another card, activate Pot of Prosperity, he's going to draw into his uh, Frau Line. He's going to normal summon Gozuki, activate Gozuki effect, dump the Necro or Banshee. My turn, draw phase, I can draw the Hedgehog. Uh, chain El Shadal Fusion, go into Construct. He's going to activate Conk, get my Construct, Construct effect, El Shadal Fusion effect. Get El Shadal Fusion, uh, Wendy to hand, El Shadal Fusion to hand. Uh, battle phase, I cannot go into anything else because unfortunately, uh, Shadal I only have one Construct. He is going to get out his stuff, he's going to activate the uh, Frontline effect to Increase the attack of the Gozuki, and then increase her to own defense. Um, go into Sucker, activate Gozu um, Mizuki Engraved to bring out the uh, Ballard Rock. Activate Sucker, activate Ballard Rock. 
Banish my blue eyes, get foolish burial, send a Mizuki, go into Axis Code. You know, Zombies was based until it went to Axis Code. Axis Code, kind of lame. She could have gone into a Synchro play, because Synchro Zombies is rad, but I digress. Zombie deck cool, they beat me down, we continue our lose streak. Alright, what have we learned this week? One, I should just stick to playing the Pokemon TCG. I've learned that I'm actually kind of good at that one. You should watch my Pokemon videos, they're very good. And you should watch the TCG gameplay video because it's actually a very cool TCG. But anyways, um, Shadal's, it was cute. I liked it, but unfortunately I don't have enough of them to make the idea work. Um, it may be something I want to pursue in the future, but again, it mean I'd have to spend three weeks just opening one structure deck each week, and I don't think that'd be too entertaining for you guys, and it just wouldn't be a good use of money. So... I have an idea. I'm going to try and go field spell blue eyes next week. So that's me using Mausoleum of White and Secret Village of Spellcasters along with the uh, terraforming and metaverse I got last week as well. I think that'll bring a lot of consistency to my deck and be a little more interesting as I try to finagle my way into finding the new pieces. Also, as you saw, we got that alternative or as my um, Discord uh, follower calls, the False Prophet. By the way, follow, my, follow me on Discord. I believe that False Prophet has tainted the series. I'm still going to use him. However, at this point, just having a one-of that's unsearchable is not worth putting in the deck, even with the more pure variant I'm going to be doing next week. So, once I'm done with the last two, uh, last three, uh, um, uh, what do you want to call them? Legendary Duelist, Legendary Duelist Season 2s that I bought. We're going to go into White Dragon Abyss, hopefully pull some Chaos Maxes maybe, maybe do a funny episode on that, and pull some um, common Melody of Awakening Dragon so I can search my one of alternative False Prophet of Doom Death Destroyer of my uh, Sealed Only Challenge. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and next week things are going to go better. I have faith. We're going to pull more, we're going to pull true legitimate alternatives and we are just going to win games. All right. Have a good night, everyone.